Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and welcome to my office. Always good to share time together. Welcome to another Word of the Week, our weekly wow. Our word this week is the word together. Lessons for this life, lessons to help us toward the life to come. Pay close attention. The power of being together, the power of togetherness is often lost in a modern church. During the pandemic, we learned to assemble without assembly. We learned how to be together without being together. Together is an important part of our shared life in Christ. Face-to-face -face meetings, being able to spend time together. One of my favorite texts as I come to the Lord's Supper each Sunday is in Luke chapter 22. Jesus said to his 12, to the followers, the apostles, with great desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Before Jesus suffering, he wanted to be with his small group. Even though he knew they would betray him, deny him, and would flee from difficulty. They were his followers. I think I would have been tempted to trade them in for a new set. He wanted to be with them. We are spiritually wired for life together. And in the supper each week, our hearts beat in unity. I'm reminded each week of the thousands of believers around the world who share the supper. I travel, have traveled with some frequency. The supper is an always connecting, reconnecting, a reminder that I am part of a one another community. So why did not the writer of Hebrews mention the power of the supper? We're calling people together in Christ to call people back to faithful following Christ. Where is the supper in the book of Hebrews? Well, perhaps in chapter 10, verses 19 through 24. Therefore, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way that he opened through the curtain, that is through his flesh, by the power of his blood, by the power of his sacrifice, we have a great high priest over the house of God, and so let us draw near. Let us have full assurance of faith, hearts cleansed, purified, knowing that God is faithful, and we respond faithfully. We continually confess him without wavering, and we consider how to stimulate one another. That's togetherness, face-to-face -to -face with God, face-to-face -face with one another. Confidence, access, drawing near, true hearts, full assurance of faith. Perhaps the writer's call does, in fact, focus on the power of the supper in the life of the believer. We together enter God's presence, the holy of holies, by the blood of Jesus, because of God's faithfulness. We may think often that we come to be in God's presence. But in a real sense, in the supper, God comes to be present among us, even as we seek his presence. Faithful God. One more text from 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, Paul writing to people from he had been separated. Brothers and sisters, when we were orphaned by being separated from you for a short time, it was our intense longing. We made every effort to see you together. Why? Because of the burden of love. Paul longed to be present in person, genuine affection, shared through face-to-face -face gathering. Paul to the Corinthians, I will give you other directions when I come. Chapter 11, verse Corinthians, verse 34. John, in two short letters, there are things I cannot say in writing. So I will come to you soon. Second John, verse 12. Third John, verse 13. So here is power for our Christian lives. The simple word 
together. Application. How do you know that you are essential and longed for in regular worship, in the weekly supper, in time shared, in our weekly connect groups, weekly small groups? So blessed to be a part of a church that shares together weekly in small groups and also in our shared lives. So here's the challenge. Tell at least one other person this week how much they matter how much they are longed for, how much they are loved. Remember that God loves you. I love you. That's the way it's going to be. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. May we appreciate the power of this simple word together. May we celebrate, may we seek, and may we be empowered in our Christian lives by the togetherness we share as part of a faith community, a one another community. God bless.